Welcome back, welcome back, guys. I was gonna stay quiet, but I'm gonna explain to you guys what's going on. We have a lot of stuff in this car I need to be changed. I think sooner or later, this starter look rusty down there. This, the starter is right there. Sooner or later, the starter. I'm gonna have to change. But rusty doesn't mean. Okay, so the valve cover gasket, gasket gone, need replacement. All of this on top gotta go soon, very soon. Gotta take off this whole top to get to those coil pack back there. See now, and it's gonna be a pain in the butt. But all of this, all of this gotta get taken off all of this got to remove the the cold air intake that got to go so that's a lot of stuff got to go but we get into that this gonna be changed to i don't know if it's a reservoir that's leaking out of the hose so that got to be replaced so far, we take off the belt, and we got uh, two of those, what did they say, polies? Yeah, these are the polies. And they're located up there. They got two scoop and bolt, that one up there up top. Let me get something to paint up there so you guys can see. This one, the 13. So, uh, you could use a, a spanner, there's nothing else could fit between here and 13 for here and I have a, a flathead to hold the tensioner and all that so I took off both of them already so we're gonna remove the alternator I'm gonna see if I'm not taking out the AC compressor I don't want to mess with the AC so as you can see it's right there I still have not opened no bolt for it yet I'm taking out everything from up top removing so I could get some space from here and see if I could take it through here. This is my first time doing it. Like I was saying, that hose right there, I don't think I, I have to remove it. This one, I don't have to remove it. I let out like half of the fluid. I don't think I have to let out everything. So if I move the, the fan, I should have access to get it out the way. So, Let's see, I'm gonna get with the work and remove the fan and see. I think there's a line. I don't know what type of line is this or wire. What type of hose is that? It's like right in front of it. Right. I don't know if that's like a Okay, I think that line is um fluid. I think that line, that small one, does it go all the way down there? Let's see some. Like some cool online, a small cool online. I might have. I have to remove it. Let's go. As you can see right there, that thing, um, the clip that's supposed to go on the the alternator, it's crystallized, so it start breaking. Once I press the button on the side to release it, it just cracked right away. So everything was crystallized. They're gonna have to find that piece and um, rewire it. I might have to chase the wire from up here, like all the way up here, and run a new set of wires to go down there. Cause what, everything is crystallized so far. It's 
even right here when I open the the bolt for the ground right here. Just starting to break off. And things are breaking off. I think I need to get this wire clear so in case the wire break. I know which is the ground and which is not the ground. Let me see if I can get it. Clean this and this wire. That's a ground. This look, this look brown. Can't tell the colors. Right, let's see when I find the wire harnesses. See, but I can't tell the colors right now. That good to be honest. So yeah, starting to it's crystallized. Even some of you are probably crystallized just break off right away the plastic is no good on the, the fan is out already I'm gonna still try to see if I can get it out so yeah guys this is so far man this is a wire from the um the alternator it was stuck crystallized was stuck couldn't come off I had to break it um, it's only one bolt that's holding up the alternator right now, but it's a long bolt. I'm gonna put you guys down there so you guys can see it. Give me a second. The heat shield will look like you have to come out the way because there's no other way. And to disconnect the AC compressor, that's too much. So I'm gonna see if I could. I'm gonna try to move the heat shield out the way and see if i could um because i could see the bolt from here but it looked like the heat shield is in the way because if i put it like like this it's like right there the bolt is behind there so if you see as soon as you come over see when it's right here how much space it locked up wiggle it around a little bit and move it see how much gap i have and i could see the bolt but when it's over here i could barely see the bolt let's see from right here see how much space i get i'll put it back Yeah, I'm gonna buy a um an O2 sensor socket to get it open to take it out so I could um remove that bolt. So stay tuned for part two. This is part one. And you have four bolts. One of them is still in there because it's eating out of the heat shield. That one came out, these two at the top. Those are the result for the two at the top. Stay tuned and stay tuned for this. The valve cover gasket and the valve cover. See that bolt back there? I never like it right now, to be honest. What if I was using a, a twerk gun? I was using like a regular socket and stuff. I wasn't using no impact gun or nothing. That's what happened. So let me know if I'm stronger than the impact gun. I think shit is just done. So stay tuned.